right now uh, it's the end of the day and we are at a charge of 9% right here as you can see so we have got to go and locate a fast charger so I have the Tata Power Easy app right here and uh, I'm going to basically search for a charging station so let me see the list so right now it's showing me that there is one which is really close to me that is the MG so fast charger so let's just check both the ports are available so let's head there and uh, let's connect the charger let's go This is the MG showroom right here and uh, the fast charger is located in the front itself so let's park the car right there right in front so yep and So right now we are here at the charging station and uh, this is the charger that we found the MG priority one so let's go ahead and connect the charger and uh, let's follow the process I will show you the entire process so let's go out and let's see what happens So right now we have connected the charger to the car and uh, as you can say we have already connected we can say proceed uh, we'll charge up 200 that's uh, let's see how much that estimates to it's around 11.11 .11 kilowatts so let's say proceed and uh, gotta wait for a couple of minutes so now there's an otp that is sent we need to enter this otp in the dc charger right here so let me just quickly enter that so we need to say enter otp uh, it's okay. not that clear because uh, there's a lot of reflection we press ok so after we do that basically verifying the otp so now it's going to fetch data of the vehicle so it's fetching the data of the vehicle over here and uh, you gotta wait for a couple of seconds for this thing to happen so let's wait for that and it's still showing the charging symbol so right now it is it has started so there's like a, a fan that blows right from here so of course it's a bit delayed on the phone but it has actually already started charging because uh, the screen right here shows the charge already it says that it has already started so let's see how long this is going to take us because uh, it's going to show me the time I guess so it's calculating the time so let's uh, step in the car as well because uh, we can also see the same thing on the screens so let's hop on inside and here as you can see on the instrument cluster it does show you that the car is being charged there is like a battery pack and you can also see the same thing right here on the infotainment system so it says charging and it shows that it's at 10 percent right here is a lot of sun reflection but yeah this is basically how it is so now yeah so now the app is basically uh, shown us it's going to take us around 12 minutes more it's already one minute charged and uh, it's showing me the consumption as well so let's just wait and see how long this takes and uh, we'll get back to you so 
photo right now it's been uh, roughly about 12 minutes right here it still says three minutes left and it has charged 32 percent right here yes now as you've seen that there'll be a difference between the thing on the phone and on the screen because the phone there's a bit of a delay but uh, the thing on the screen is accurate so yeah so i think we got to wait for another two minutes and we are done with the charge basically so right now it says that it's uh, less than a minute that's the time remaining to charge and it has charged 37 percent as you can see on the screen right here so right now the charge has been complete we have a charge of 37 percent right there and uh, as soon as the charge completes it there's basically like a sound that indicates you that the charge has been done so we got a gain of over about 28 percent and uh, we've got a range of 114 right here so now what we need to do is uh, as the charge is already over i need to go outside and unplug it so i will take you all along with me to do this and yes as i told you the phone uh, there is a delay so it is still showing so now it tells me that i can disconnect the charger right now i say okay and uh, yep so this is going to give me the charge summary so i have been charged uh, 212.58 that's including the service charge and everything. Uh, I have charged 11,810 kilowatts of charge. So let's say okay. Uh, keep my phone aside and uh, unplug the charger right here. It's a very simple process. Put this in, and there's also a display right here. But I don't know whether you can see it because there's a lot of reflection. So yeah, that's basically all it is. It tells you the time of charge. So it's around 17 minutes and 17 seconds so yep this is basically how you charge your mg zs ev and uh, yep this is how it is